I've been on a journey to complete a game from every Pokemon generation, catch all of the Pokemon in their original regions, and transfer them all into Pokemon Home, where I will have the ultimate living Pokedex. We're now working our way through Generation 3, so let's jump back in to Pokemon Omega Ruby. When we last left off, we spent the entire day defeating Team Magma and eventually beat Flannery in Lava Ridge Town. Outside of the gym, May asked us if we wanted to go ahead and travel to Petalburg City to take on the fifth gym leader, who also happens to be my dad. I will take any opportunity to progress this game as fast as possible, so I joined her. All right, well, let's take on Dad. You know, I don't think we're gonna have any problems here at all. So let's just go see what Dad's got going on. How does this work? Yo, how's it going, champ to be, Beaver Man? What's up? The doors in this gym open when you beat the awaiting trainers. Okay. Speed room. The door on the right leads to the accuracy room. Um, we'll definitely go to the speed room. Sign says speed room. Yeah, sure. What's up, dude? Being able to attack before an opponent. That confers a great advantage in battle, wouldn't you agree? I would agree. I feel like we're going right into Gym 5. I mean, we beat Gym 4 five minutes ago. Oh, a little Delcaddy? How does your Delcaddy feel about getting headbutted? What about Iron Head? Is that better? Because I get I get stabbed with that. Let's see if that's any better. Like, that doesn't even barely hurt me. Look at this. Smacking me around all day. Yeah, that's better. Attract. Come on. Oh, I was in love, but it doesn't matter. Killed your only love, Crunjangle. That's the kind of fuel you'll need to be a killer. You know what I mean? That was a magnificent battle. Sure was, wasn't it? I cried. I don't know about you guys. I cried. Now move on to the next room where you will find a new challenge awaiting you. Zero reduction room. Uh, this is the zero reduction room. I don't know what that means. So we're just gonna go in Crunjangle and find out. Don't waste time trying to lower my Pokemon stats. Hey, don't worry, fella. I would never do that. Lower your stats. Why would I do that when I could just attack you and hurt you? You know? All right, Linoon. What do you think about Iron Head? Run it by me. Okay, you feel indifferent. What about Rock Slide? How do you feel about that one? Okay, let's just run it back to... Let's go back to Iron Head. There you go. Now you're dead. Boom. God, this gym's gonna be easy. My dad's a wuss. Parker, you were not very good. My Pokemon stats weren't lowered, but I still lost. That's correct. No opponent I've ever faced has ever had their stats lowered. As a matter of fact, Parker, you are in good company. Uh, what is this, the strength room? Whatever. Our gym leader told us to pull out all the stops to beat you, even if you do happen to be the leader's own son. I got a feeling I'm gonna beat you, Jody. I got a feeling. I got a feeling your Zangoose is gonna go down. Yeah, this is absolutely no problem. Critical hit, what do you do about that, Zangoose? Nothing. I haven't even used a super effective move yet. I haven't even brought out Torque. But I went all out. That was all out, really? Okay. The way you handle your Pokemon reminds me of your father's style. Don't ever compare me to that man again. Who's through here? Gym leader. We're doing it. Oh my gosh, look at the floor. He's meditating. Hey, Dad. Hey, it's me. Did you get four gym badges? I did. Are you proud of me? Okay. You're not gonna like say hello to me or anything? Look at the floor. Man, you keep this thing good. I gotta keep snot off this. <laughs> Cause he's mess he's a messy boy. My team was ready, but dad's two slackings were no joke. My dad got all weird and started monologuing, and snot started frothing with rage at a chance to fight. Dude, it's gonna be it would be so embarrassing to just get whooped by your son like this is. Dude, that sucks. Oh, a slacking. Mm. All right, it only attacks every other turn. He's showing off a little bit, and he's already used Yawn. Great. Okay, so we're going to need to... You know what? We're just going to tough it out. Now I'm going to go to sleep. Okay. But Cronjang, I'm going to need you to wake up. Chief. Oh, look at him sleeping. Oh, he's a sleepy little boy. No problem. We can tank that. Easy. No, Cronjang, wake up. He's going to wake up this turn. Come on, buddy. Hey, shh, shh, shh. Wake up. Ah! 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 There you go. Get him. Yeah, buddy. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay. I'm exhausting my entire team before I get to Torque. You know what? Let's bring out Snot. God, that thing is strong. Oh, my God. Dad, let me win. What did he use? Holy hell. Yes. Retaliate. That's going to kill me. Great. All right, it's not as down. With two Pokemon down, I made the massive mistake of sending in Despair, whose trace ability means she copies the ability of the Pokemon she first faces in battle, including Slacking's devastating truant ability. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and use Psychic, and we're definitely gonna kill you. 
We're definitely going to kill you here. RIP, buddy. Nice knowing you. And that's all she wrote, boys and girls. And uh, we're just going to keep using Psychic because it's an incredible move. And it's probably... Oh, I forgot. I've got Truant now. That was a really bad move. Okay. Things aren't going as planned. I should have thought about that. Holy crap! And they use Encore. That sucks. Do I have Truant still? Dang. Come on. No. No, Despair. Come on. Yes. Despair still won. Yep. There we go. R.I.P. Despair. Oh, man. All I've got is Torque. <laughs> You're screwed, man. You're screwed. <clears throat> What's up? I can still do this. Mm-mm. <clears throat> oh, God. Oh, no. He's going to loaf around, but don't use it. Yes. You got it. There we go. Woo! That low key came down to the wire. Suck it, Dad! Impossible. No, it's possible. Give me $3,600. I can't believe it. I lost to Beaver Man. Yup, better believe it. That's what everybody's been saying. The whole team was taken out except for Torque, who hung on to dear life long enough to win the balance badge. Dad got weirdly emotional about the whole process and then decided to walk me out of the gym. Oh my god. Way to ruin a good moment. Wally was waiting outside with his dad, who thanked my dad for helping Wally catch his first Pokemon and decided to hand me HMO2 Surf. Dad told me I was ready to surf across to Route 118 where more challenges await, and then he forced me and Wally to go there together, which was annoying. Gaining Surf was very important because throughout this game, I have desperately needed a good rod, which is only available across the river on Route 118. And now it was finally time for me to get it, if Wally would ever stop talking. Are we gonna go or are we, just, are we gonna sit around? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I don't know, Wally. Dude, I don't know. Okay, shut up, dude. God bless. Everybody needs to shut up. Let me live my life. I gotta go teach Surf to a Pokemon for five seconds and then get rid of it. And who do we want? Who can learn Surf? Can anyone learn Surf? Zigzagoon? If it's not Zigzagoon, then I don't really know what the heck we're gonna do. I just need you for five seconds. There we go, Zigzagoon. I do want to teach him. He just learned it, didn't he? All right, Zigzagoon, don't get used to it, buddy. I'm gonna ride you into Route 18, 118, and then I'm gonna ditch you. This is a single-use Pokemon right here. Hop on the water. Our first surf as a team. The fisherman with the rod was just across the river, but I wasn't exactly sure where he would be. Either way, I was really excited to finally get a hold of it. I'm on a mission right now. I've got to find a fisherman on the river's eastern banks of Route 118. Uh-oh. Dude, I don't... Why, hello. We met in Granite Cave, didn't we? No, I remember it. It's Beaver Man. Yeah, Steven, we had like a whole thing. Do you not remember me? I suppose I should be going. I hope to see you again, though. Dude. What is it? What's happening? Look at him. That's Latios or us. I can't remember. Do you want us to soar somewhere with you? Beaver Man, come with me. No, no, no. I need to be on route one. No, I need to. I gotta go get it. I gotta get a fishing rod. I don't, I need to go back to route. Oh man, Steven, can you put me down? What's this? <laughs> I'm so far away from getting the rod. Thank you, Latios. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> that? Come, we should get going. Okay. And then can we go back to Route 118? Because that's something I'd be interested in doing. Hey, buddy. Latios, it's beautiful. If I were to describe such beauty in terms of a stone, it would be a water stone. No, it goes beyond that. Isn't its brilliance like that of a dawn stone? Hey, Steven. I don't know, man. You know, it's pretty cool, I guess. Oh, how'd they get here? Of course, Team Magma interrupted Steven, who was interrupting me, who was still no closer to getting the good rod. Apparently, Latios sensed Team Magma coming for it, so it called on Steven and I for help. Team Magma said they wanted to take the Latios Mega Stone, and Steven asked me to battle with him, which was a problem since I did not heal up my very dead Pokemon after gym number five. Okay, I'm battling with Steven. All right, great. I never healed, so I've only got Torque, who's on the brink of death. This is gonna suck. I guess I've got Zigzagoon, don't I? All my Pokemon are, are, are on the brink of death. <laughs> Dude, damn it. I don't... What's an energy powder do? 50 HP. That's what we're gonna have to do, aren't we? <laughs> Crap. Ugh, crap. 
Okay, we took out the coffin. We can take out we can take out one camera up together, huh? Oh god, no, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> dude, dude. Matang's got it. It's got it. <laughs> I got the zigzagoon. Am I gonna die? Earth power. Damn it. Do I like lose or do I does Steven help help me out? So I don't I just I just observe the battle. Oh god, Matang, stay alive. Oh thank god. We did it! <laughs> Way to go, Steven. We both equally participated in that. Courtney from Team Magma said a bunch of weird robotic stuff before fleeing in defeat, and thankfully, Steven healed up my team. You performed spectacularly. No, I didn't, dude. They all died. Latios recognized me as a trainer worthy of its trust. I believe it's trying to show you that it wants to go with you on your journey. <gasps> Yay! Come on to the team, buddy. Would you like to give a nickname? No. Latios headed to the PC, and Steven handed over the Mega Bracelet, which, when used with a specific stone, allows me to Mega Evolve my Pokemon. I don't have any Pokemon that can Mega Evolve yet, but that didn't stop Steven from his apparent mission to keep me from getting the good rod for as long as possible. Can I get back to Route 118? God, I just want to get a good rod been 34 minutes. Latias took us back and I was finally free to look for the fisherman with the good rod who was somewhere on the route, but unfortunately I was not exactly sure where and my patience for completing this incredibly simple task was wearing very thin. Oh, I'm losing my mind, dude. I just want to get a good rod. That is all I want right now. I'll try to catch the Linoon, I guess. This has become so much more stressful than I had previously anticipated. Yes, perfect. All right, get in the ball. Okay, got it. God, I could just stop. I could just stop playing, you know? You guys would be sad, but you'd get over it, right? Just give up. Start painting. I don't want to give it a nickname. I just want the fishing rod. I want to go fishing, baby. Okay, so it's this brat right here. Where is he? This guy. What's up? Hmm, a good rod is really good. Yes, it is. Wouldn't you agree? I would. I would. Take this good rod. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right, Zigzagoon, let's go. With the good rod finally in my hands, I headed to Route 117 where I could finally start fishing. In the pond on the route, there's a 5% chance to catch a corp fish, and I was not leaving empty handed. Excellent. Let's go fishing, and we're looking for a corp fish. Corp fish. I don't really know how to say it, but it's corp fish time. <laughs> What is it? No, I don't want that. I want a corp fish. Round two. Let's go fishing. Got something. What could it be? Oh, magic carp. Awesome. This is a fun game. We got a 5% chance, so things are looking up already. Nope, nothing. Okay, let's go fishing, baby. Oh, nothing's biting right here. I guess I'll have to go over here. Got anything? Yeah. Pull her in. Pull her in, boys. Oh, okay. Just another fucking magic harp. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? Dude, I'm doing something here, man. I just want to catch this fish. Why is everything so complicated? I don't want to do this. Ah, just to kill it. It's not. Squish the bug. Just let me have, please let me have this one. This game throws me no bones. It takes and it takes and it takes. Never gives. Oh, shh. What are you just gonna watch me fish like a pervert? Get out of here. Nah, dude, you move, man. You're scaring the fish. Dude, oh my lanta. Yes. Come on. Come on. Mm. <laughs> yes, this is going to be one. Mm. No, that's a goldine. That's a goldine. No, thank you. Nope. Too slow. Give me a second. All right, I got to be on it then. Oh, dang it. I got to look at the DS so I can get the best reaction times. Oh, my God. <laughs> What are they out of fish? 
Too slow? What? What do I have to be, God? Oh, oh, all that for Goldine. This corp fish better be worth it. What? Am I having an aneurysm? Do I need to get my reflexes checked? Let's try this. Okay. Okay, Goldine, neat. I thought my headphones look like a train conductor. <laughs> Sometimes fish ain't biting, but the worst day of fishing is better than the best day at work. Am I right? No, see, that's a Goldeen. It just ain't biting today. Too slow? Bro, like I'm sweating. Fish ain't biting. I'm gonna move to a different spot. Ah, oh, a Goldeen, huh? This is fun, dude. Love it. Love the game. Love virtual fishing. Well, I can't catch it if it doesn't bite. I'm losing it. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, Buster. Got it. Please be one, because I'm exhausted. Nothing seems to be biting. Nothing seems to be biting. Nothing seems to be biting. <laughs> if I got a shiny corp fish, I guarantee you I would accidentally kill it. <laughs> yes. I'm like a tiger with the fishing rod. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. All right. No more playing around. No more playing around. Absolutely not. No more joking. <laughs> no more jokes. I'm getting it. Damn it! I've been on this reel for hours. Yes! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Yes! That felt good. All right. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Go ahead. We're going to go ahead and put it to sleep. Yeah. Ah, oh, no big deal. I guess I'll just throw a ball at it to see if that works right off the bat. Please stay in the ball. Please stay in the ball, I beg you. Please. 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 Oh, yeah! Let's go, Corp Fish! And I believe she's a girl. Got herself a baby girl. Give a nickname, I will. I'm gonna name her Lady Snips. <laughs> Lady Snips. Does that sound too much like Nips? Doing it! Locked in, baby! No going back. After an unbelievable amount of casts, I finally had Lady Snips. I headed back to Mallville to get her out of the PC, taught her surf, and then headed up to Route 111. After the fourth gym, May gave me some Go Goggles, which grants me access to the desert north of 111, where there are some new Pokemon to catch, and hopefully, a final member of our team. All right, into the desert. We got the Go Go Goggles on. Let's do a little catching, why don't we? Aha! Gotcha. Ball toy. Cool. I'll catch you. Come on, Lady Snips. Brave the sandstorm. Get in the ball, buddy. How about a great ball? Is that going to work? I hope so. Please. Yeah. Oh, a quick catch. Thank you. Trap inch and a cacnea in these parts. And let's just say I want one of them. What is that? A cacnea. I'll take it. I wish I had false swipe. It makes things so much easier. There we go. That thing is creepy looking, isn't it? Please get in a great ball. That would just make my life so easy. I would make it so easy. Yes! I'm saving money with these great balls. Man, I'm saving some dough. There's only one that remains. And it's a trap inch. Come here, trap inch. <gasps> Could it be? Could it be? No, it's another ball toy. No, thank you. I'm in the dunes. What is it? Ah, sand shrew. Gross. Nope. God, they're quick. Come on. Yes. Dude, how many ball toys am I going to see today? And there's an equal amount that I see a trap inch, and yet, where are they? Mm. We may not be getting a fly gone if I can't find a trap inch. Nothing's easy. Not a thing in this world. I need to spice it up a little bit. I need a couple newcomers. I need a couple little tiny orange newcomers. What's wrong with that? What's so wrong with that? Why does no one want me to get what I want in this life? Ugh, you've got to be kidding me right now. Come on. 
Yes, finally. A trap binge. Finally got one. Took a hot New York minute. Golly, Pete. Bingo, baby. Thank God. I'm gonna name her Goober. Gloop. Gloop. Goopy. Done. We got Goopy. She's beautiful. Couple little orange additions to the squall. Finally, after days of the same four Pokemon, I had a full team. I went back to Route 118, where my main goal was to take on all the trainers and get Lady Snips up to level 30, where she would evolve. All right, let's get in there. Oh, what is it? Ooh, a Tropius. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna catch it. All right, put it to sleep. Shh, 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 shh. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. You're gonna want to get in the Ultra Ball here, Tropius. Yeah. Come on. Come on. A bunch of quick catches tonight. Somebody's looking down on me. Yeah, Torque 34. Whatever. Ugh, I didn't even do anything. Dude, that thing's so weird. I love it. We're headed into Route 119. Yahoo! What's up, kid? You don't know who I am, do you? Well, I don't know you either. <laughs> That's correct. Oh, a beautifly. What do you get night slashed? We're a little we're a little out of our league here, but we were over leveled there for a little bit, so this is looking kind of nice. Okay, and Lady Snips is dead. Great. Great. I'll just bring in Torque then. I really wish Lady Snips wasn't dead. Nothing is easy. Nothing is easy. Of course, Lady Snips died when I had no revives and was halfway through this long trainer-filled route. I didn't want to fight all of the trainers without Lady Snips gaining experience, so I decided to just power through until I could get to the next town with the Pokemon Center, but of course, Team Magma was going to make that much harder than it needed to be. What's this? The Weather Institute. Are you kidding me, these guys? I feel like I'm going to be stuck here staying lookout my whole life. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do I need to go in here? What the hell is going on? Welcome to the Weather Institute. There seems to be some kind of disturbance in the second floor, but I'm a professional. I'm not easily rattled. Can you heal my Pokemon? <gasps> I can sleep here? Yes! Oh, yes! All right, we're in business, boys and girls. That's awesome. Okay, feeling better. What's up, loser? The boss got interested in the research they have going on here, so he sent us out. Quit your meddling. Nah, I'm here because I want to be here. Not just because I can't progress unless I go here. There's other reasons. Get in there and double kick it. Yes, Torque. <laughs> yeah, Despair. And Snot, golly be. Let's do this. Cronjangle, can you evolve? Can we make it happen? Let's do this. That's gotta be Oko, right? We're almost there, Crony J. Yes! Ah, 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 ah. Bingo, baby. Yes! Let's see him. Crony J. That's what you wanna see right there. He's so sick. Yes, Cron J. We're making moves. I came here because I heard that the Institute is investigating the relationship between super ancient Pokemon and the weather. Wow. That sounds like a riveting TED Talk that I would just love to be a part of. All right, can we take out a coughing? I say we try, because I can just go heal. Yes. Dead. Our plans being spoiled by a kid? Yep, they sure are. All right, up on floor two, there's a disturbance, ladies and gentlemen. On floor two stood Tabitha, who had just stolen more research from a different scientist here at the Weather Center. However, upon viewing the research, Tabitha seemed upset and said that Maxie could never be forgiven. I'm not quite sure what they were talking about, but I don't care because there were more trainers to fight. We are Team Magma. We appear wherever anything rare is found. I didn't see you guys when I was catching my corpfish. <laughs> it was pretty rare. You were nowhere to be found. Ooh, Numel. Yes! You can actually kill it. What is amnesia? Are you raising your special defense? Well, ugh, I guess that's actually probably a good move, isn't it? Kind of send it mighty in a... Ooh. We're going to keep battling just for the experience, but I'll probably sub out Loki. I don't know. 28. Let's try it. Okay, so that's not going to be very good. Yeah, I'm dropping the act. Bring it in torque. No, am I confused? No. Please don't hit yourself, please. Please, dear God. No, oh my God. It just, it just adds so much time to the... Fight! Yes! Dead. You got me. Sure did, didn't I? Let's do it again. Uh, I don't know. Night Slash? Oh, let's try it. See what happens. Okay. Yep. Yeah, back out. Back out. Bail. Bail. 
Bale. It's time for the Larion Cron Jangle debut. There we go. Cron Jangle in his new form helped take out the Team Magma Grunts until we stood face to face with Tabitha yet again. Tabitha had the audacity to accuse me of following them around, which was wildly inaccurate, and in order to get rid of the unpleasant feelings, they threatened me with a battle. Ah, no, Tabitha. A, a single camera up. Cool. I mean, we're gonna give it a whirl. Don't die. You gotta be kidding me! What is going on? Bringing in Cron Jangle. Okay, all right. Well, Tabitha, you're not too shabby, are ya? What about this? How's this? Yeah, idiot. I mean, there's a 100% chance you die here, Tabitha. You and your camera up. I'm angry that Lady Snips died. And I will avenge her, Tabitha. I will avenge her. Ha ha ha, I, 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 I. yeah, 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 shut up. Tabitha threw a temper tantrum and seemed shocked to find out that Team Magma's plan to get rid of all of the Earth's water would result in the death of every living thing. I'm not sure why they had to kidnap three different scientists to come to that very obvious conclusion, but whatever. Tabitha said Maxie was heading for Mount Pyre and scurried off. As a thank you for saving the Weather Institute, the man in the brown suit gave me a cast form. With that nonsense, behind me, there was only a short walk east to Fortree City, where I could finally take on another gym. Seems kind of useless. Uh-oh. Beaver Man. What's up, May? You here to bother me? Gosh, where have you been hiding? I've been looking all over for you. Been in the trees, you know? May interrupted me not five feet from the entrance to the city and talked endlessly about my mega bracelet before challenging me to another freaking battle. Great, a shroomish. My mortal enemy. I'm subbing out. I don't mess around with shroomishes. They are not to be trifled with. Oh, am I asleep? Are you kidding me? Ugh. Shroomishes are the worst thing to fight. The worst thing to fight. I hate them. I'm just, I'm clicking A as fast as I possibly can. Dude, come on, Shroomish. Chief. What is happening? I woke up. Great, can you use Flame Charge? I'm gonna get some Effect Spore. Now what happened? Oh, I'm poisoned. Good, good, good. I wouldn't even want to have a Shroomish on my team because every second is agony. Every battle lasts 5,000 times longer than it needs to. Dead. F you, Shroomish. It took everything from Torque to get that done. Got to send in more stomp. Yes. 100% going to switch, and I'm 100% going to bring in Despair. Let's do this. All right, more stomp. Ugly idiot. Dead. <laughs> like... Is that all you got? About to send in Slugma. I'm gonna see if Lady Snips can't do it, but I'm not optimistic. Let's see, Lady Snips. Come on. Just a classic water versus fire. There you go, Lady Snips, yes! You're as strong as I expected, Beaver. I don't know if that's a compliment or not. May was easily defeated and handed me the HM move fly before running off, leaving me free to enter Fortree City. Will we be able to defeat Fortree City's gym? How many more scientists will Team Magma kidnap? Tune in next time to find out or follow the journey live on Twitch. I'm a new creator, so liking, commenting, and subscribing really helps me grow. My name is Wolf Duckworth, the Quack God, the Lord of the Stream, and I thank you for watching.